everybody. Welcome to Gun Stuff. Today we're going to be talking about holsters for the Glock 42 and 43. Uh, we're going to kind of do a, a combined video here since the uh, 42 and 43 are so similar. Pretty much the holsters that work great for the 42 will work also for the 43. The size difference on the 42 versus the 43, uh, not that much. I think the uh, 42 here uh, is about 13 ounces unloaded uh, versus 17 for the 43 9 millimeter. Obviously this is the 380 version. Uh, and then the size differences aren't that different either. Uh, this 42 here is about 151 millimeters long, whereas the 43 is 159 millimeters long. So generally what works great for this gun will also work great for the uh, Glock 43 9 millimeter. So we're going to kind of do a, a combined video there. Okay, up first is the Blackhawk Serpa holster. Um, it's about $25 on Amazon. Uh, it's a pretty good holster, fairly cheap. Uh, like I said, under $50 for a holster like this is pretty good. A couple things I like about this one. Uh, it does have the uh, retention lever or the button and it is an active lock. So when you slide this gun in, it automatically locks into place. Uh, for it to be removed, you do have to push the button down and it will pull out. Pretty good. Uh, if you're going to do open carry here in Texas, uh, they just passed open carry this year. Probably want to go ahead and have some form of retention on the gun just so uh, it doesn't fall out. Or uh, We've already had one case where uh, some crazy came up and pulled the gun out from behind somebody. The other good thing about this holster, it's pretty good for open or concealed carry. Uh, it's got this paddle on there so it actually goes uh, in between your pants and your belt. Uh, it also does come with a, a, a belt loop holster uh, or attachment. You can take this paddle off and uh, it'll come right off and you can put the belt loops on there. It, uh, it fits the gun pretty well. Locks into place, not a lot of movement. For the price uh, of $25, you can't really beat that. Great holster, it's pretty common, that's why it's in this video. We don't really have any negatives on this holster. Not have yet. Uh, I wear this one probably a couple times a week and I have not had any issues. I've had it for about two years now. So definitely recommend this holster. Okay, up next we have the Crossbreed Mini Tuck. Uh, it's a very nice holster. Had this one for about two years now. I uh, used to wear it every day uh, until I got the holster that I'm going to show next. But it's still a great holster. I wear it all the time, especially on those days where I really don't want anyone to know that I'm carrying uh, this Glock 42 or 43. It conceals it very well. It's inside the waistband. You're not going to know that you're carrying when you have this on you. Uh, it's about $72 from crossbreedholsters.com. I'll go ahead and put a link to all these holsters down below. Uh, that way you can check them out. Uh, it does have a lifetime warranty, which is really nice. Uh, all handcrafted, uh, made in the United States. You can order these in standard black leather. Uh, this is premium uh, tan, and it also comes in horse hide. Lifetime warranty on these. Uh, it is a molded kydex on a leather backing with these clips here. Uh, it fits very well. It does have a, uh, a slight retention. You can actually feel it uh, click into place when you slide it in. It will not drop the, uh, the gun even if it's upside down and you shake it. It still holds in there pretty nice. It has Phillips screws that hold these clips on. Uh, the kydex to the leather is riveted on, so that will not uh, come off. But these uh, clips, you can take these off and there's a three-point adjustment. Uh, you can actually lower or raise these clips depending on how far you want it to uh, go inside the pants. Uh, for deeper concealment you can raise them and lower it even more. Uh, I've got it as high as it goes and you still will not be able to tell that I'm ever carrying this. Definitely a great holster uh, even though it is $72. Uh, I think it's about $10 cheaper if you get just a standard black version. Great holster. I've bought many from Crossbreed in the past for my other guns. You definitely will not be disappointed with this holster. Okay, up next and last is the DeSantis Thumb Brake Mini Slide for the Glock 42. This one, as of right now, is probably my favorite out of all the Glock 42 holsters I have. It's about $52 on Amazon, I think slightly more on the uh, DeSantis website. It's made out of premium leather, uh, you can get it in black or tan, uh, made in the USA. It has a uh, thumb brake scabbard on the top for the retention which is really nice. Uh, I always like to have some kind of retention on my holsters, and this is a, a pretty good option. Uh, great for open or concealed carry. has one and three quarter inch belt loops, and it is molded to fit each specific gun, which is very nice. 
it holds the gun very well. You can see uh, it does have an exposed muzzle end, but it doesn't go past the holster, so it fits perfectly in there. It has a retention screw. If it is a little bit too loose in here for you, you can go ahead and tighten or loosen that. And then the thumb brake snaps in place, and it has a nice uh, metal backing here too, so if you're in a hurry and you're trying to bend this leather out, it doesn't just bend the leather when you're trying to open this up. It actually pops off, and it will pull out fairly easily. Same going back in. Put it in there, lock it, you're done. Great holster. Been wearing this one now for about three or four months. I carry this one all the time with just a shirt over it. Nobody knows the difference. Uh, even though in Texas we can't open carry, a lot of times I still try to conceal carry. Don't need everybody out there knowing what we're doing. But great holster, $50, order on Amazon. The link will be in the description down below. Can't go wrong with it. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Thank you.